I did not in the mosque that I was number one. I was the first patient. Yay. Then, uh, then I was number seven in Quebec. This was Montrealer Pablo Gray in March 2020, just before being put into a coma, hospitalized as Quebec's COVID case number seven and one of the first patients to land in the ICU after contracting the virus at the end of February on a family vacation in the Dominican Republic. We uh, came back on the 29th. Yeah. Uh, and uh, um, right after, I started feeling bad. With fever, fatigue, and a big headache, Pablo quickly went to a clinic. The doctor said, you know what, I'm just going to just gonna try to see your oxygen, the speed of your oxygen, and, and I was completely out of oxygen. So he called the ambulance right away. At the hospital, Pablo was tested for many things, including COVID, the nurses bracing his family for the worst. His uh, oxygen level is going down anyway, so no matter if it's COVID or not, you guys should be ready to maybe say your goodbyes or something like that. Like it was just, and you think your dad is in there for like a, a, bad, a bad cold or something, and then you get told that, it kind of like really switched everything really quickly. Later, the call came back with Pablo's results. The nurse's voice was shaking because it was our first time telling someone, you know, it's a positive test. And neither yeah. of them really understood what that meant at that point. But it was a very kind of, it just kind of went downhill from there. You're listening to the, uh, to, uh, the environment saying that this thing is coming. <laughs> You're the first one having it. Uh, and and this, it was a moment of panic. Pablo's wife and son were also positive and experienced symptoms. His daughter, Maite, the only one COVID-free. It's harder when you're trying to tell each other it's going to get better, but you can't even, like, hug each other. This, as Pablo was intubated and in a coma for two weeks. From there, for me, it's another life. It was um, hallucination after hallucination. It was um, it's a, it's, it's the, the monstrous time. <laughs> From there to the day I actually took the tube out of my body, by myself, that was on, on March 23rd, I think that I was really fighting for, uh, for, for uh, to be uh, back to my family. Pablo has been recovering ever since, still with nasal and some oxygen issues, gaining back the more than 40 pounds he lost in hospital and dealing with the aftermath of his coma. I was crying all the time, all the time. <laughs> because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, because everything was new for me and I was trying to remember things, trying to every day. And, I, and, and, as, and uh, you know, as soon as I, I got to sleep, I started my hallucinations back again. He and his family are now part of a Montreal University Health Centre study to look at how health care and help to families can be improved in situations like theirs, something that made them appreciate life and each other more. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm, I'm living every day, every minute, every second, trying to wake up earlier in the morning to be happier. <laughs> in Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.